post tonight on Channels Television. I told you at the start of the program that Sofia Omidiji uh, has gained a call up uh, to the Super Falcons for that friendly match against France. It's a good one uh, for Coach Thomas Denaby to look at his team and see ways that he can prepare a winning team for uh, the Super Falcons. But Sofia Omidiji, she's been longing. She says, I dream is to represent Nigeria. In 2016, she was called up to the Four Corners fans, uh, um, camp, but was dropped later on. Sophia was hurt, and now she's gotten this call up. Uh, let's see what she posted on social media when she received that call up. An excited Sophia Omidiji uh, went online uh, to celebrate it. Uh, that's the right there. Uh, she was all but grateful. Thank God for uh, the opportunity. Uh, so it's an honor to be proud, uh, honored and proud to have gotten. Um, a call up with the Nigerian women's national team, uh, the, the official NFL for the friendly against France uh, this coming um, Friday. We'll give everything I've got and then some for the country. It comes gram or tweet how it feels, but she says it's indescribable. Despite being brought up outside the country, Sophia is thrilled to represent Nigeria. Let's go to Rotterdam in Holland. That's where uh, Sophia is based. Uh, she joins us now live on the program to talk about uh, this opportunity to play for the Super Falcons. Sophia, good to have you on Sports tonight. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Awesome. Uh, Sophia, um, this call up to uh, the Super Falcons, you've described it as indescribable. But just try to tell me, how do you feel about this? Oh my gosh, when I first got the call up, you know, it was so many mixed feelings, you know, there was tears, there was joy, you know, there's laughter, you know, I may have or may have not have accidentally danced to Shaku Shaku, but, <laughs> but, you know, I've gotten calls from Nigeria, all across Europe and the States, you know, there's actually a big, huge community of Nigerians in Las Vegas. Um, mm. They basically raised me, so playing for Nigeria means the whole world to me. You know? um, I can't even put it into words like I stated, because um, the country has given me so much. But it's an absolute honor and a joy, and above all, it's a privilege. Okay, now you will be joining the team for that international friendly game against France. Sophia, what can you bring? What's about you? What can you bring to this Super Falcons team? Um, I could bring a lot, you know. Um, I was born and raised in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, in the States, um, where we, where they basically um, focused mainly on strength. You know, they had um, technical abilities. Um, they liked um, technical plays. And by coming to Europe um, and Holland, they mainly focus on your technical abilities and your technical awareness. So I believe that playing both in the States, in Europe, and even in Belgium, I, before um, joining um, Excelsior, where I currently play now, I played for K Gent in Belgium. So they're very um, keen and very um, quick, or like they used um, physical, their physical nature. So I think that it has created, it has made me more of a well-rounded player and I, think that my speed um, and but above all my technical abilities will are my attributes. Kept that down speed. Sophia can bring that uh, to, into Nigeria football. Sophia is just 20 and playing for the Super Falcons uh, requires a lot of experience. Um, that's the challenge for you, right? How do you, how do you intend uh, to get into there and make, in, and make an impact? It is, but I'm always for the challenge. You know? um, I think that it's a good learning opportunity. You know, I know the team is filled with a lot of veteran players who I am um, very glad and I am eager to learn from. But above all, um, I can't wait to showcase my abilities and to put it on display of how great of a player I am. You know. I've worked this hard, you know, for to get the call up it means the whole world to me, you know, and I have nobody else to thank but God himself, you know, he's done a whole lot and I know that without God, none of this would be possible, you know. I also would like to thank um, the head coach, Tom, Thomas Dinnerby himself for the invite because um, it means the whole world and of, of course, I can't forget the NFF, you know, their visionary leadership and their great work that they continue to do and have done for 
so many years and what they continue to do will definitely and will and I hope that they will sure continue for the many years to come. So mm -hmm. I that's so, I, sounds good stuff here. So stuff here, tell me, uh what has the ex the experience been like at Excelsior? Um, we are currently a, a new team. We were um, we're in the first division um, in the Netherlands, um, who was European champions. Um, but you know, um, we all start somewhere. We may not be having the record that we want, but you know, it's all a learning experience. Is what I see um, at, and what I have gotten out of this. You know, um, I continue to train hard. You know, um, I don't know if uh, you guys know this but i've gotten a lot of interest from across europe um but those who know um football in the europe is a little different because um without eu papers you know it can make things a little bit challenging uh, but i find interest from clubs in england um, sweden germany and even norway and you know with my management team temple um, we'll make the best decisions and um, hopefully we'll land at a club where I will continue to thrive and develop and showcase my abilities. Mm, so sounds, that sounds good. So since you've opened my ears, I'm ready to hear. So where would you like to play? Um, you know, anywhere, well, it's up to God, you know. Um, my personal interest would be um, in England, but, you know, wherever the road takes me is where it will take me, you know. Um, it's not always about how you start, where you finish, so... It doesn't really matter where um, I begin at, but the end game is to continue to develop and continue to become a, a better player, and then that's what I hope. Mm, Sophia, I must say thank you so much for speaking to us. You know, I, I think we should see small shaku shaku. You've you've gotten that color. You just give us a little shaku shaku to celebrate that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much, Sophia, for your time. All the best with your club and country career. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your time. Okay, so that's it. Sophia Omidiji. She's excited. She's very passionate about Nigerian football and now she has a chance. Cosmos, this is what it is. At this stage, 20, getting a call up to the national team, it's a chance you must take. Well, big chance you must take. And as I said earlier, she's been in the Falconet before she was dropped. And, uh, but, but then for a player like this, um, she, has, she has achieved some things. I mean, um, the management team she mentioned is one of the best management team when it comes to you know, managing players, talent. managing talent, especially sporting talent. And of course, we've got you know, Nigerians, Nigerians, uh, um, sport people that are under that management team. And of course, we have to talk about the fact that aside that, she is also an ambassador for uh, Nike. You know, she, she was one of those that unveiled the justice and uh, you know, it shows that mm. she has been doing some things right uh, this time around. Uh, she wants to play. I mean, she has she has every opportunity to play for the United States. She has every opportunity to play for Philippines as well because uh, uh, she she's also a Filipino too from her mom's side. So you you feel that and, and you know grew up, growing up in the United States too. But she has always wanted to play for Nigeria. First time wasn't nice, but then she kept working hard, and of course she has been invited. Now for some of you that probably want to bring out some um, controversy theories about <laughs> okay, don't we have players that didn't. Mm -hmm. For me, I feel it's more the merrier. I mean, when was the last time we had, um, you know, a player like this from the diaspora play? Maybe Courtney DK. Yeah. But Courtney DK has played and I've for the Super Falcons before. Cosmos, not just me. Uh, persons that have that are into you know sports journalism. Mm. Nigeria is too big and talented to be chasing one player. So come and play for exactly, us. Exactly. So when we get persons that are out there and they're saying. I want to, I want to play. So I you give them an the opportunity chance. to play. I, I think I think that's just it. So for me, give them an opportunity to play. If anybody wants to play, let them play for the team. Don't poach it anybody. Is not, it, is, it is not about. And there's no need of yeah. poaching. Mm. It isn't about where the person plays. As and, far as I'm concerned, and, not, I'm, and um, we're not saying it's everybody that comes and says I want to play for the country. You say come. If there go, is quality. <laughs> Quality, mm. let them play. As far as I'm concerned, I feel that the very good players um, of Nigerian descent um, in the diaspora that wants to compete for Nigeria. I mean, there's one. 
in the Commonwealth team that has not even been cleared by um, the international body to run for Nigeria. And he's, um, he's, he's an athlete. he was an athlete for the Great mm -hmm. Britain, won several uh, um, medals for them, but he wants, and you need to see how he's excited. This is not somebody that probably has ended this. He, he won a race as recent, very, very recently. So you feel that, um, you know, people like that wants to. So as far as I'm concerned, Anybody that wants to compete for Nigeria, yeah. if they have that quality, yeah. whether they play in the Nigerian league mm -hmm. or they play somewhere, provided they give have that quality, give them a chance to show it, them a like chance to show see, it and that is just it. And I think that is what Coach Denabi is trying to mm -hmm. do. And maybe that is what Genotro is trying to do as well. And the man is new, he has to build his team. Exactly, so, yeah, he has to so build he his to team. See, he has to see people play. So. Looking at the fact that Azizat is not going to be in this one, or Nomei mm. is not in this one, so certainly they're they have to bring the players. So. Come, so, yeah, I, I totally agree with uh, that. Uh, customers.